L.R., the liberal redneck here, coming to you from a country where a group of religious fanatics have come up with a plan to turn homosexual people into the heterosexuals they claim their God intended for them to be. It's a thoroughly confusing situation since they give their God credit for creating everything. If he created homosexuals, why do these zealots feel the need to correct his work? What gives them the right to determine what is best for anyone other than themselves? For reasons only they understand, they have decided that homosexuality is an abomination. They have a morbid fear that homosexuals are out to turn everyone else into homosexuals. That is also confusing, since that is exactly what they're trying to do to homosexuals, convert them into heterosexuals. This movement has been labeled conversion therapy. Mainstream medical experts say this is not only ridiculous, it is in fact very harmful. In 2001, United States Surgeon General David Satcher issued a report saying, there is no scientific evidence that sexual orientation can be changed. Techniques used in conversion therapy in the United States and Western Europe have included ice pick lobotomies, chemical castration with hormonal treatment, aversive treatments such as the application of electric shock to the hands and our genitals, Nausea inducing drugs administered simultaneously with the presentation of homoerotic stimuli and masturbatory reconditioning. This is barbaric and totally inhumane treatment for a condition that appears to be completely natural, created by God, so to speak. My advice to the practitioners of this despicable conduct is stop it. You are blatantly infringing on the rights of others by trying to impose your will to a situation you completely misunderstand. The fact that you are against the sexual orientation of others has no relevance. Your conversion desires are meaningless and cruel. Your therapy only creates confusion and is worthless. Homosexuals are not out to convert anyone. Unlike you, they just want to be left alone without your insane desire to regulate their sex lives. Try taking care of those who need help, like the hungry and homeless. Of course, such a revolutionary concept plays hell with that uniquely evangelical philosophy known as the prosperity gospel. The rest of the world calls it unbridled greed. The world is complicated enough without such crap. Keep your religion in your homes and churches and stay the hell out of the secular arena. You can reach me at the liberal redneck at gmail.com and you can visit live with me, the pagan goddess and the professor, every Friday at noon central for our weekly wrap up here on blogtalkradio.com forward slash the liberal redneck.